this is Lady Boulay and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And I keep being reminded that you can hear my smoke detectors. We thought it was just a matter of replacing the batteries, but apparently it's something wrong with the system. So I'm trying to edit the beeps out until we get somebody here to look at the system and replace it. Apparently that's what it needs. But anyway, thank you for bearing with me. And this video is just a reminder that things are not always what they appear to be. Do y'all remember this picture? These black men of Hollywood and their white, biracial, and light-skinned wives. And everybody made a big deal of it at the time. This is the elite of Hollywood, they said. They are living it up in all of their glory and all of their beauty. Some people said it looked like, you know, chauvinism, women standing over their men like waiters or something. I didn't see it that way. I just saw what it looks like. People look like, you know, they're rich and they're living their best rich lives. Now, who is this couple on the end? Who is this woman with this yellow hair? Is that the one now that was, you know, we're hearing so much about? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that's her. Cassie. That's her, right? So just to look at this picture... She looks happy. Looks like she's having a good time. So, again, things are not always what they appear to be. Here's a picture of them in the inside, all cuddled up. Looks like they're in a club. And you wouldn't know that she was in a terrible relationship. But the greater picture tells the real story of what happened to this young woman. And it's actually quite tragic. It's actually quite tragic because here you have a black man who supposedly be a high value man with his preference. And now we get all of this tragic news about the real nature of their relationship. It, it's really sickening to even hear about it and to see something like this. Obviously, I'm not going to play the video because of the YouTube guidelines, but this is just horrendous. It's just horrendous. Things are not always what they appear to be. And this is a real good lesson for black women because for the last decade, probably the last two decades, all we've been hearing about is preferences and light skin and you can only get a record deal if you're light skinned. It's, it just got to be very discouraging, I'm sure, for black women who could really sing but weren't light-skinned. And that's why I'm really glad to see the rise of Fantasia because she can really sing. But they had tried to cast her aside at one point. But real talent will emerge and speak for itself. But back to the subject, it does appear that this young woman was in pursuit of stardom through a singing career. As a matter of fact, that's what they say. She thought that he could make her a star. And he kept her dangling with the idea that he could make her a star. I'm sure that's what he was telling her. And she got in too deep. She was too young and she got in too deep. And the question for me remains, where were her parents? People knew what was happening because people kept hinting of the things that he was doing. So people knew that he was abusing this woman. And yet, he continued to do it. And the reason is because... He thought he could get away with that. And so far he has. But the end has not been written to this story. It took them a long time to get R. Kelly, a long time to get Bill Cosby, and a long time to get Harvey Weinstein, but somehow he's wiggled out of it. But the cautionary tale is that things are not always what they appear to be. It appeared from the outside looking in that she was living this big life with this millionaire high value man and who knew except the people close to them that she was living in hell that she was living in hell with this man so that was something that 
appeared one way, but it turned out to be something else. So let's back up and identify this light-skinned brigade. On the left here, Switz Beats and Alicia Keys. Next to them, Jay-Z and Beyonce. I don't know who this other couple is. Nobody seems to know who it is. Then you have Kanye and Kim. And on the end, you have P. Diddy and Cassie. So beginning with the far right, P. Diddy and Cassie have bitten the dust. Kim and Kanye have bitten the dust. And I don't know who this other couple is. If y'all know who this is, please let me know. Then you have Jay-Z and Beyonce, who, who knows what's going on with that couple. They just seem to be limping along, not doing anything spectacular, except Beyonce seems to be dedicated to her art of making music and trying to groom her daughter into the business. And then on the, on the far left, Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys, again, just seem to be limping along, not doing anything spectacular. The word on the internet streets say that Jay-Z will be going down just like Puff Daddy or P. P Diddy or whatever his name is. And then we have to do an honorable mention of Alicia Keys who broke up a marriage in pursuit of her high value man. And they still seem to be limping along. But this is what has been promoted to black America as ideal high value men with their light-skinned wives and girlfriends. But Cat Williams blew the whole thing out a few months ago when he said, when he basically talked about just this kind of setup. So a big deal has been made over colorism in the black community and high-value black men and their light-skinned wives. That has been promoted in the black community. Non-light-skinned black women have been put down mostly by dark-skinned black men and compared to light-skinned women and made to feel less than and there is nothing wrong with being light-skinned. Let's, let's get that clear because there are many light-skinned black people in the United States who are just light-skinned. But my husband, who is also light-skinned, when this whole thing about dark skin and light skin and black men making a big deal out of that, my husband said, when did we go back to that? It's just ignorant. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I thought we had moved past that too. But when you got people who are colorist leading the narrative, that is what you get. So I hope we can grow past that now. We see that these people are not living any kind of ideal lives that anybody would want. They might have money. Well, I don't get any kind of vibes that these people are particularly happy. So they're just entertainers getting paid to entertain, not making a particularly great impact on the world. And when you consider what people say they go through to be in that business, it looks like they're at zero advantage. I think if you had to pick one out of the group, you might say that at least Beyonce tries. So now I believe this is an opportunity for us to grow past this and highlight something besides somebody's skin tone because it's really not that important who you are on the inside and the, Im and the impact that you make on the world to make the world a better place and make your community a better place or your family a better place. That is what counts. Not how much melanin you do or do not have in your skin. So this light skin brigade proves once again that it's not the color of your skin, but the content of your character. That counts. Okay, y'all, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. And as always, have a great day.